don't think I'm gonna repeat every line she says. You're wrong. I thought we were getting Kiki's delivery service. She said no Nepo babies allowed. Oh no, it's not happening. Here are the fetch quests. I feel like this music is like so like upbeat. It's like I'm, tr I'm trying to scream over it even though it's not even that loud. <laughs> it's a good thing, it's a good thing. But I'm just like, I have to do an intro for this video and I don't know if I can. <laughs> Hello, friends and gamers. So I did bring this game, th this video for this game up during Gamescom, which I think just ended. I'm recording this like Sunday night, very late Sunday night. I have been working all day. I finally got my planes and stuff sorted for a dream hack. It took a, it was a long process. This is why I couldn't make anime impulse OC work because just the process of like getting everything to, for dream hack together took like two weeks. It should not have taken that long. So <laughs> anyways, we're playing Mika and the Witch's Mountain. I did bring this up when we were talking about Gamescom. I think it was Awesome Indies. They got a little spot. The game was shown off there. And I did mention that I had a review copy, which is what we're looking at right now. <laughs> and I would be playing it soon. So this is still in early access. We don't have too many controls in terms of like the settings. There's some audio settings and like language settings, but that is about it. There's a couple of camera controls and that's it. So we don't have any settings for quality. So worst case scenario, if it becomes unplayable, we will just be done with the early access of the game. But that being said, if that does happen, I would like to come back to it at a later date once those options are put into the game. Because I really, I want to like this game. I'm going to say it right now, I really want to like this game. It's adorable. But like I said, I did get a review copy thanks to Chibig and Keymailer. So thank you to them. And we're going to start. I think this is like the second early access game we're playing today. If I can edit this in time, if not, another early access video went up before, before this. I do at least want to get through the tutorial in early access and maybe a little bit of the story. If I'm really hooked, we'll see. Um... I would like to play as much of this as possible, but I am also still sitting on that Final Fantasy 16 gigabyte demo file. I kind of want to play it. So let's hope the indie game wins today. <laughs> start game. We're just going to start it. This is a, kind of basically like an RPG. It, it's an RPG. We're a little witch. I get to live out my Studio Ghibli dreams, which is fantastic. I love that. We, we're having some issues. Not with my model. Ooh, we're having issues because they have a full animated cutscene and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm keeping this in the video. No one's saying anything, but it's still so pretty. Oh, we're the little one. Yeah, we're the little one. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Cute. If you don't think I'm going to repeat every line she says, I, you're wrong. I'm going to repeat her lines. They're so, they said she sounds so fun. Mika. Adorable. I'm not nervous at all. Mom once told me about her school days here in the Stellar Lighthouse. It's nicer than she said, but I'm so far away from home. Aww. So we're going to witch school. That's why we were left here. Okay. All right. Be cool. Be cool. You've got this. You just have to give this letter to Miss Oligari. Oligari. Okay. To get into her, um, what did mom call it? Magic school? <laughs> I thought we were getting Kiki's delivery service. Turns out we're not. Time to learn cool stuff. <laughs> So you can move. I am playing on controller. I originally wasn't playing on controller. That's the other thing with the early access. It's 200% definitely made for controller, even if they don't say it's made for a controller. Don't try to play this with keyboard and mouse if you're thinking of picking up the early access version. The controllers kind of seemed funky. I didn't even get into it with the, the keyboard and mouse controls because just immediately I like you don't have no mouse in this game. You have to move up and down in the menus with up and down arrows. And I don't like that. So we're not doing that. <laughs> and I just plugged in my controller. Jump is Y. Okay, all right. So we jump and we move. Okie dokie. We got this. We so totally got this. I'm not sure how I feel about the graphics. They feel a little a little extra low poly, if you know what I mean. But again, it's early access. There's time for all of this to change and be upgraded as time goes on. So I'm not super picky about an early access. Hello? Nobody seems to be at home. Okay, so we need to find the mistress. Oh, there she is. The head mistress. For our magic school, is this too loud? I don't think the sound is too loud. We're just gonna keep it like this. I might regret that later when I go to edit this. Oh, the letter is cute. Oh, I need to figure out a voice for her too. The opening cutscene, we were flying with her though. So is that like a flash forward? Maybe. <laughs> Good evening, Mika. Did you bring? Oh, cute. She said, yay. <laughs> Here you go. What is this? A letter of 
Recommendation? Oh, from our mom. That's cute. I don't know where your mother got that idea, but this is not how things work here. Oh, I didn't read that right, but we got the point across. That's a pretty old fashioned way to get into a magic school. I love it. She said no Nepo babies allowed. <laughs> not in my house. At least you didn't send it to me attached to a bird's foot. Anyway, no, I was asking for your apprentice supplies. I, I, we probably have them if our mom wrote us a letter. I have the broom, the magic book, the tempera paints. Tempera paints? We got paint? Okay. The chocolate. And what about the skull talisman? Yuck, the talisman. I have that too. Where am I staying? Could I have a room up there, please? I'd like to see the night sky. Mom said that you can see shooting stars from the top of Mont Gone. Sure. Shooting stars? Galaxy dust? <laughs> what did we say wrong? Your mother should have never filled your mind with such childish fa fancies. Oh my god, I can't read today. It might also be because it's 10 o'clock at night that I can't read. Anyways, it will be a challenge, but I'll turn you into a fully fledged witch. However, many other apprentices have jumped off the cliff on their brooms. I'm sorry, what? And never come back. What? I'm sorry, what? It won't happen to me. I've been practicing a lot. Yeah, really? Really? Let's see then. Here is your first lesson. Make your way back up here on your own. <laughs> is she just gonna throw us off the cliff? Like, come on. Yep, she's throwing us off the top of the cliff. Whoa. Cute. <laughs> at least she's using... Oh God. I was gonna say at least she's using magic so we don't die. The... I will also say that cutscene, like it was, we are a pancake. <laughs> it was really dark up top, and now all of a sudden it's like daytime, and even the cutscene lighting looked weird. I don't know what's going on there, but that really hurt. <laughs> oh no, our broom is broken, so I guess we have to try and use magic to fix it. The family broom is in splinters. Hope I can repair it. Looks like there's a village up ahead. Maybe someone there can help me. All right, to the village we go. I'm- what, is, what are you? What are you? Come here, bunny. It's just kind of pushing. I have no idea what that is. Wait, what's here? What are you? Collectibles? Oh! The island of Mount Gone is littered with treasures to collect and mysteries to uncover. Use the Napalpa statuettes to purchase witchy skins and broom trails. Search the offering fountain where Edgar, Olgari's crow... I want to keep... I keep wanting to call her Olgari. Olgari's crow will be waiting for you. So the... the jars... I cannot read that word. The jars hide the collectible tarot cards of the villagers of Mount Gone. See, I think that's fun. Put tarot cards in. That's fun. But to crack the jars, Mika must fall from high in the sky and crash into them. So we got a ground pound. Oh, you got a ground. I get it. Is there something up there? Wee, wee. Oh, there's another little statue thing. Yeah. So we can use that as like a wind current to fly back up prob prob probably, but we need to go to the village first to figure all this out. Okay. I'm starting to see the vision. Oh, I was like, who who said something? I was doing an OBS check. Okay, hi. Allegra, pretty. <laughs> Where have you come from? From the top of Mount Gone. Miss Witch Oligari pushed me down. I keep wanting to call her a different name. Poor thing, that's quite a fall. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Allegra, the Orilla Town artisan. There are some fun names in this, but I cannot read any of them apparently. I'm mostly a potter, but people rely on me to fix all kinds of things. Nice to meet you. I'm Mika, a witch apprentice. This might sound weird, but would you happen to know how to repair a magic broom? <laughs> Bet. Of course she does. <laughs> I can try to make some repairs, but it won't fly as well as it used to. We don't need it to fly super well. We just need to get back up top of the mountain to figure out how to fix it later. Just hold on a minute, little one. So, there we go. Here is your repaired broom. I think I am going to do like a walk through the village first just to see what's up. Because this was really easy. I was expecting that we'd have to go on a bunch of fetch quests to fix our room, you know? Thank you so much. Well, I should go. Bye, Allegra. Maybe someday. I'll come to town to pay you a visit. Ah, uh, there it is. Wait, do you really think you can fly back up there on this tiny, wobbly, barely repaired broom? You are hilarious. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh no, it's not happening. The, here are the fetch quests. Let me explain. If you want to get back to the top of Mount Gone, you need to buy a new broom. But not to worry. If I can fix your bashed up old broom, then I should be able to make you a new one from scratch. I just need some money for materials. So, four coins should cover it, I think. I have the statuettes. Can I give you two statuettes instead? But I have no money. <laughs> We're broke. <laughs> then you need to find a job, right? I hear the delivery company is hiring. Oh, it is Kiki's delivery service. <laughs> but witches, 
Witches don't work. Mika does not dream of labor. This is who you're asking to work a nine to five. Don't make that long face. Look, just go run a few errands and before you even notice, you'll have yourself a lovely shiny new broom. So that's the gameplay loop. All right. Do we go to magic school at all? Or is this like the prologue to magic school? Do we go to magic school at all? I'm starting to think we don't. Okay, if that's the only way, I'll do it. I'll work. <laughs> this is who you're asking to work a nine to five. That's the spirit. Now the delivery company's office is in Orilla Town's main square. Just fly straight ahead and you will find it in no time. I wonder, can you try to fly back up with the stinky broom? I wanna give it a shot. It gave me the tutorial for the repaired broom, but I don't know why it would do that. I'm curious. I wanna give it a shot. Can we try to get up? Oh, that's that wind current thing doesn't work how I thought it would. It's like opposite. Oh, interesting. I can't even look up to like see if it'll work like that. Okay, fine. I'm out. Peace. Yep. Yep. Saw that coming. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's in the town square. Doggy! Wait, wait, wait. Can we pet the dog? <gasps> you can pet the dog and you get an achievement for it. <laughs> you can you can pet the dog and uh, what's that? Do not remember. Mika and the Witch's Mountain. You can pet the dog and Mika and the Witch's Mountain in early access. Cute, it rolls over. What a cutie. I love it. I love it so much. I think this is the delivery company. Hi. Hi, sir. Griff. Hello, girl. Are you here to send a package? I'm sorry, but we're currently out of delivery personnel. Well, you're in luck, Griff. I need a job. I'm broke. Hi. Uh... I'm actually here to apply for the job, so the name is Mika, and I'm your new courier. Such enthusiasm. How sweet. I don't know if I like Gruff. I'm gonna be honest. He has a vibe I don't I'd appreciate. <laughs> well, well, let me tell you about your duties. You have complete freedom to organize your delivery schedule. You manage your own time. No pressure. You have my word. I'm Gruff, your new boss. <laughs> that sounds nice, boss. And I think that's all you need to know for now. So let's get started, shall we? Here is your first delivery. So we got that. Before that, boss, I'd like to know about the pay. <laughs> Are you seriously asking about the salary? Is that all that matters to you? Kinda, yeah. I do not dream of labor, Gref. What about the emotional satisfaction from flying over all over this beautiful island? Yeah, yeah, what about the money? I'm not doing it for free. That'll be nice and all, but I really need to know how much you'll be paying per delivery. We need a new broom. Okay, since you insist, your earnings are based on your performance. In short, you're paid according to how well you do your job. Oh god. What, wait, if I run into things, is that on me? If I, if I fly into things, will I get de deductions for that? I hope not. So the recipients. Well, they will simply rate your service using three different colored stamps. Can I redo deliveries then? If the delivery is perfect, you'll get a green stamp. And uh, you will then earn a coin. So we need four perfect ones. This is such a hard rating system. Wait, this is like AP exams. Oh my God. So I'll read Gref's line first and then I'll explain. If the delivery is mediocre, you'll get a yellow stamp and you will earn nothing. AP exams. So AP exams are like, call it, okay, AP classes, for those of you who are not based in the US, are basically debuffed college courses you can take in high school to get college credit. However, most colleges don't really accept them. So it's not really worth it, especially if you go to a school that requires you pay for the exam yourself because the exams are like, I think now they're like over a hundred bucks per exam. So if you're taking a bunch of them, it's totally not worth it. But at the same time, you would think like, but you don't you get college credit for it? Kind of not really. Most colleges just use it as a test out. So then you have to take a harder course once you actually get to college. And it's, it's hard, obviously, because you could just take the early version of it, like the intro. But if the, the AP is like, the intro course version so then you get to college and like well you still need the credit so you have to take a higher level course now uh have fun you don't have, get to take the intro one you already took the intro one but the thing with that is they're graded on a five point curve scale so your score depends entirely on how the rest of the nation scores in in order to get any sort of college credit you usually need a four or a five anything below that you had to pay for the exam take it study all year you get nothing you tried hard and you get nothing. I'm telling you guys now, if any of you are in high school, don't take AP classes. Don't do it. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Do not do it because you're going to have to take the credits in college. Anyways, that's what happened to me. It's not worth it, bestie. Okay, but this is the same system. 
if we if we don't do 100 absolutely perfect we don't get squat what do you mean <sighs> fine and if something goes wrong and you get a red stamp well then we'll be having a very serious talk i i don't like this if you if this is um how if your job works like this like irl quit your job quit your job mika quit your job <laughs> just walk out uh, i get it boss only green stamps to get paid exactly glad to hear you understand the terms of our agreement this is why you have no delivery personnel gref you're mistreating them and now you're mistreating a child i almost forgot your work will be rated on a delivery card all right okay fine oh uh, what a delivery card a document that allows you to check delivery information like recipients or locations or or pay <laughs> what's that face for oh i see you're new in town aren't you you should have one of these too what do we get a map thank god there's a map i hope it's an on-screen map because i am directionally challenged thanks boss that's going to be really handy okay cool great happy to help just come back when you have completed your delivery card and i'll evaluate your earnings okay now we're all set let's get started we are behind schedule it's because you keep firing your delivery personnel gref <laughs> gref is the villain gref is the antagonist of the game i'm ready boss hmm. so the old sea dog sailor ovel is waiting for this package you'll find him in the porch of his house near the shipyard <laughs> understood boss i'm about to just like walk there forgets the kiki's delivery service we're not we're just walking it goes without saying but be careful please don't hit the parcel or get it wet okay so that's how we get green we do, do it does look like we have three lives so we got our delivery card it gives you an achievement for that and we can pick up packages and other objects with a drop them with b we will be dropping them lightly integrity of the packages is measured with damage points those are the hearts looks like we have three packages can be damaged by hits water and time that that time one is gonna hit me we'll play for a little bit and we'll see how i enjoy the mechanic i think it might be a little bit stressful for me um just because timed driving simulators are really stressful for me <laughs> and i don't know like it's supposed to be a cozy game so we'll see so we menu to for delivery card okay gosh this is gonna be a lot okay so it's quite close by the only problem is it's not an on-screen map and i have no sense of direction so open map i guess we go straight there should be a path somewhere I'm, i don't know where to go oh the shipyard it looks like it's this way so okay so dropping from the broom doesn't do anything hold on gotta grab that are you ovel is this you yeah mr ovel captain i have a package for you <laughs> well met are you the new courier i can't do the i can't do a good voice for him so we're just gonna have to vibe with it i don't think any of the voices i've been doing today are good but i haven't done like voicing of a story in a hot minute so i just think no, none of the voices are good we're just gonna live with it though early access for everyone including me yes it's my first day in fact this is my very first delivery yay that's lovely deckhand i feel honored i'll give you the highest rating then thanks Ovel. you're paying for me to go to witch school <laughs> uh maybe you should check the package before you rate my service mika don't say that <laughs> don't worry i'm sure it's fine don't tell him to check it then we just get the perfect rating get the money and run thank you yay we did it with the fragile package since you're here i'd like to ask you to make a delivery for me i need you to take this to my grandson he went sailing this morning and he didn't take his lunch oh <laughs> so we do have to fly for sure on this one he's a bit absent-minded isn't he but it's okay i'll take it to him yeah this is gonna be rough because we have to fly over the water <laughs> all right here you are my grandson's lunch he'll be sailing around the shipyard go upstairs and you should be able to see him i feel like i need some sort of even like on the top of the screen maybe having some sort of compass navigation thing could be helpful i just i feel like right now i just need some sort of like extra oomph with the navigation because otherwise i'm like where am i going i, I genuinely don't know on my way one more thing before you leave be careful don't get it wet yeah no it's food so this one we can't get wet and it only has two lives so this one is definitely harder how do we get up top go upstairs there are no stairs inside oh upstairs okay so y'all have fun over there where i'm assuming that's the ship so okay 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 here we go here we go here we go here we go we did it yay there's the grandson opic it looks like you fell from the sky yeah we kind of did i didn't mean to scare you 
I'm Mika, the new delivery person. And, uh, I brought you something from your grandpa. <laughs> it's the lunch. Well met. I'm Opic. Thanks for bringing it here. Flying over the sea is not easy. <laughs> I hope I didn't screw it up. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get it wet and that was the stipulation. So don't worry. It's all right. Yay, we did it. That's two. We got two coins. I need four. Maybe we will go to witch school. My old man, Oval. He's always thinking of me. You know, we used to go sailing together, but it's hard for him these days at his age. What if we fly him out here when we get the better broom? <laughs> Do you feel lonely? Sometimes, but it's not as bad as it sounds. Actually, it's nice being at sea. Everything is calm and quiet. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I should be on my way then. So... Do you have a package for us to deliver, Ulpik? Or do I have to go back to my boss that I don't like? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm really enjoying your company. It's just I'll be fine on my own when you're gone. Anyway, I have something to ask you. How would you like to catch a fish? Oh, we're fishing! There's a fishing mini game. I'm not sure about that, Ulpik. I feel bad for the little fish. <laughs> don't worry about that. We use fish bowls so they won't get hurt. Ooh, it's a fun fishing mechanic. What do you say? Would you try catching a fish for my old man? Oh, that's probably what we're going to deliver back to him. All right, Opik, leave it to me. Fish bowl with minnow. So we have to catch a fish. In Mount Gon, the bravest sailors catch their fish without hurting them. Find a fish bowl, fill it with water, and then try to catch a fish. You can also release them by dropping the fish bowl into the water. Okay. Oh, so those were the bowls on the deck. I thought they were like stand-in placeholders for like up something else. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, minnow, minnow, minnow. Come here, come here, come here. You're mine. Got it. So let's get back on the ship. I don't know how to get back on the ship. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Oh, oh, you can do a little jump. No, give me in the ship. Give me in the ship. Give me in the ship. Oh, wait, no, no, I overshot it. I overshot it. Stop, 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 stop. I don't know how I did it before because I did a little. Oh, jump, jump. The jump worked before. Oh, my God. Stop, stop, stop. OK, we're done. Yay! <laughs> we did it! They are really fat. Do we just immediately give it to him? Okay, yeah, we just immediately give it to Oval. Okay, um, here we go. To the deck we go. There's no stipulations for this one, so it's quite easy, it seems. I don't know how to get up on the deck, I'm gonna be honest. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, run, Mika, run! Give it to Grandpa! Hello. No, wrong button. Wrong button! <laughs> this is so cursed. How wonderful! My dear deckhand is here. What have you brought me this time? It's a fish for you. In exchange for giving Opic his lunch, you get a fish. Oh, is my model glitching? A little bit. It's not half bad though. Okay. Also, it could be OBS just kind of like lagging a little bit. And then when I go to edit this video, the footage will be fine. That happens sometimes. My OBS will lag like a tiny bit frame rate wise on the preview. And then it's fine normally. Anyways, Opic sent you, did he? Ah, oh, my boy. <laughs> yes, but don't eat it. <laughs> it's a pet. Eat it, you say? Nonsense. I'll put it in the aquarium with all the other fellows. <laughs> Phew. It may seem silly, but when I look at them, I feel like my boy is here with me, even while he's out sailing. That's cute and really wholesome. Oh, Val. <laughs> Sorry, I'm wasting your time. Here, you get the highest rating again. I want to get all four of our thick coins so that we can go get our broom and go uh, do our thing. Before you leave, I need a favor, deckhand. Yeah, one more package. What do you need? Could you please take this package back to the delivery office? Perfect, I need to go there anyways, because this is going to be my last coin. This is the package. I brought you earlier. Oh, oh, but the address is wrong. It's me, neither mine nor my boys. Oh, okay. Return to sender then. I'll take it back to Gret then. Sorry for the inconvenience, Captain. I read that weird, but we're just going to keep going. <laughs> ah, never mind. Thanks to this, we met. And for that, it was worth the time. Returned package, so we can't get it wet or get it impacted. Okay. I'm pretty sure we go this way. Over this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe I don't need directions. I'm kind of doing okay at this. I think we're good. Hello. Wrong one, wrong one. What are you doing here? Hello again, Grav. Oh, uh... Oh, Val wasn't expecting anything. You gave me the wrong address, I guess. Wrong address? That's not possible. I don't make mistake. Nope, you made a mistake, Grav. I'm not surprised. You're short-staffed, is it? You're short-staffed? Ah, sure. Sure, it was deliberate. It was all part of the test. I don't, I also don't like how he keeps saying girl. It seems very condescending to me and I don't like it. Like I'm saying, Gref is like a walking yellow flag. Orange, like in between red and yellow, but more on the red side, like darker. Like your shirt. 
but he's also wearing red. But then if that's the case, he's also wearing green pants. So there's that. But it was all a part of the test. <laughs> really? It doesn't seem like. Yes, yes. <laughs> he goofed. And you passed. Yay, so can I get a coin for that, buddy? Hmm. This package is actually for Brom. You've met him before, right? No, I just got here. I don't think so. The one who owns the ice cream kiosk? No, nothing. Looks like you haven't been to the beach yet. I don't want to go to the beach. I want to get my broom. Never mind. His kiosk is easy to spot. It's just behind the shipyard. <laughs> okay, on my way. So did I get my packet? Did I, did I get my four coins? How do I find out? Wait, is there graphics? There's graphic settings? Weird. There's been graphic settings this whole time. Like you just need to, you only can access them when you get in the game. Okay. Wait, why do I only have, I have zero gold. What do you mean? I've done four deliveries. You suck, Gref. You are, a, you suck, Gref. Do I need to do all six? So I have to fill up the card first? Gref, you suck. Okay. Oh, I, I keep hitting the wrong button. So the beach, where do we go to go step in on the beach? Do, 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 you know? I don't think there's a time one for this one, but we might want to try and speed it up. Where's the beach? I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, oh, we froze. My game crashed. Oh God. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> Maybe we'll be done for the day. <laughs> okay, we're back in it. Um, Just because I want to see if it saved my progress. I do think that, because there's an auto save. I don't know where it saved my progress. Um, We'll just see, like, maybe it'll have a save time, like the last save time. I do think that is the most egregious. <laughs> um, It is early access and everything looks pretty good so far, but that is also... The game crashing is an issue. It is an issue. Where did it load me? Okay, so slightly damaged package. Why is it slightly damaged? Because that was the return package. It loaded me in just in front of the shop without the package, weirdly enough. Oh, hey, can we can we not? Um, Okay, where is the beach? We'll tr go again over that way. So I'm going to go to Ovel and just kind of figure it out from there, I think. I think I see where I need to be. It's over this way. Here's the beach. Oh, Bram, Brom, whatever your name is. Brom, there it is. I have a package for you. Are you okay? You seem a bit off. No, you seem sad. Is it because you share a name with a Valorant character? Brom is a Valorant, right? I feel like I'm so wrong in saying that. I have to look this up now. Sorry, we're looking it up. I don't make the rules. I do make the rules, actually. Brom is League of Legends. I knew they were a Riot character. <laughs> I don't know why my brain said Valorant, though. There's too many League characters. I don't know all of them, okay? I know a lot of them, but not all of them. <laughs> And I do forget. I feel like Brom's like an OG though. My bad. I'm sorry, Brom. I'm stressed. I just opened the Chiringuito and it's already going wrong. I don't know if I said that right, by the way. I hope I did. And this old ice cream maker is doing its best, but I can feel it's going to break down any second now. That happened to me with my rice cooker. Yeah, my rice cooker broke. And every time I Google it, it just says you need to clean out your rice cooker. I've cleaned it five times. How about that? I don't like keep it. I don't. I, I frequently wash my rice cooker. I don't keep rice in there. I don't know what happened to it, but yeah, my rice, my rice cooker is broken. Didn't know that could happen. I hope the new one I ordered will arrive soon. That hi, I have your, I have your ice cream machine. Actually, maybe this package could be it. This is it. A piece of luck at last. <laughs> Yay. All right. One more package after this. And then I, I filled up the card. I get paid. I can get my broom. So you're the new courier, right? I need your help. What do you got for me, Brom? What do you need me to do? See those Isle and Han over there? No. Oh, near the beach mansion? They ordered an ice cream. I told them not to go far, but they didn't listen to a word I said. Would you take them their ice cream? Of course, that's so easy. I could do that. <laughs> but careful of the bright sunshine. The ice cream will just turn into lemonade if you don't hurry. Oh God, the timing mechanic. I don't know where the kids are. I'll do it in the blink of an eye. Where are they? Do I have time to check? Can I pause? Sorry, I have a lot on my plate right now. 40 seconds! Where are they? Okay, it paused it. It paused it. Thank God. Okay, they should be over here. There they are. There they are. Okay, we got this. Children! Yeah. How's it going? Did you order an ice cream? <laughs> Look at these kids. I love their design. Whoa! My ice cream is here! <laughs> they just make little teasing noises. Hey, no. It's for me. So... Who is, it for, who is it for exactly? I don't know which one is talking. I guess it's whoever is in front, but I don't know which one's which. Anyways, look, guess, who am I? You cannot appreciate the delights of its delicate flavor. What, am I supposed to know these characters? I know that 
the studio has released other games because I've played some of them, but I don't know. I don't know who you are. Father Andros sounds more like this, though. This piece of ice cream has an exquisite texture with an outstandingly remarkable taste. I can't do it justice. I feel like they're probably just re imitating their dad, <laughs> not each other. Excuse me. The ice cream. Yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. All right. So you can take it. Is it good? Is it tasty? Give it to me. Take it easy. You're going to get brain freeze. Oh, just one of them is like inhaling the ice cream. Okay. So we did that on time. We did that perfect. Okay. We've completed our delivery card. Do we get one coin per completed delivery or one coin per card? Because I feel like to extend the game time, it would be a coin per card. But also that seems like mismanagement and us not getting paid properly. <laughs> I'll meet Graf to collect my wages. I really hope he actually gives us the wages and we don't get like nothing. And he's like, oh, actually, you do have to do more. Even though you did all these deliveries perfectly, it's not that easy. Oh, where am I? All right, I'm, I'm jumping this thing. Oh, perfect. I'm so good at my job. Look at that. Hi, Graf. Hey, boss. I've completed the delivery card. Really? Alrighty. And let me see. Oh, look at this. So many green stamps. That's quite a performance. I'm so good at this. People were really nice to me. And it was so cool flying around the town. Glad to know you like the work. Here, your wages. <laughs> you did so, so well. You deserve a treat. Why does that sound so weird? I have a gift for you. Is it more money? I would like more money. You see that mailbox over there? And put this code into it. 0102. Okay, 0102. 010. That sucks with controller. I got the amazing deliveries uniform. Cute. <laughs> What's this? It's our uniform. A courier's uniform? Why does that feel like a scam? Like our, I have a gift for you. It's your work uniform, surprise. <laughs> this design is nicer. The old uniform was so yellow. Well, well, so that makes it official. Congratulations, you've passed your evaluation test. Yeah, my what? <laughs> I wasn't an employee. <laughs> Actually, no, but it's nothing personal. It's the way things are usually done. Hey, am I getting paid or not? Because if I'm not getting paid, I'm exiting out of the game. I'm I'm forced closing it myself. Does it make sense that we wouldn't get paid in the grand scheme of the thing? Because it was, mm, you know, but even if you are doing like a trial employment period, you get paid. I'm just saying. I know it's just a game, but if, if you are not getting paid for your trial employment period, IRL, quit. Quit your job. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it. That is not that is not proper working conditions, bestie. Anyway, that's it for today. Go and get some rest, okay? I don't have a place to stay. Also, my model is lagging again. The real challenge starts tomorrow. So meet Allegra in her workshop. Did I get my money? I have six gold coins. Allegra! Allegra! I'm getting my broom. That was my goal for this video. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck. I got stuck. I'm like running this. Allegra! Good to see you again. Do you have what I asked for? I have some money. I hope it's enough. Let's see. Oh, you've been working really hard. Well done. This will easily cover it. Just wait a minute. Here you are. A gleaming brand new basic broom. Yay, we got a broom and it has two spots now. So is this like our weekend job? During the week we go to magic school and then on the weekends we work down here. Ah, Allegra, just imagine the look on Oligari's face when I show up much earlier than she expects. So... You plan to leave right now, straight after getting your new broom? What a bummer. I'm saying we'll come back on the weekends. What do you mean? <laughs> well, you can't abandon the people. You've committed to a job. The island needs a delivery person. We need you. Why does this seem like I'm being manipulated? Besides, I don't think your new broom will fly that high. And it won't be very fast either. I don't care. I'll spend four hours flying back up there. That's nothing. However... It is the perfect broom to learn how to fly. I know how to fly. Do I need to remind you how we met? <laughs> well, it, that's here's the thing about that. We were forced down a cliff and we're unprepared. So we sm smashed into the sand like a pancake. It wasn't my fault. It was Oligari's fault. Well, maybe I need a little more practice than I initially thought. Now I have to look for a place to stay. Yeah, we don't have a place to stay. You can stay here with me. I have plenty of space. Allegra coming through once again. You sure? And what about Oligari? She's waiting for me. Oh, yes. Oligari. 
The one who threw you off a cliff. She's clearly really eager to see you soon. Is Oligari the bad guy? This whole time I thought it was Gref, but it was Oligari? So, what do you say? Of course, I don't have an option. I think I'm gonna stay for a while and get back to work. So Mika now does dream of labor? Can't relate. <laughs> you better have a powerful broom next time, Allegra. <laughs> All right, come back with eight coins and I'll build you a mighty one. I promise. So basically we need to fill another card. We completed act one. I think that's perfect for early access review of the game. Yeah, I would love to be able to walk around in the buildings, but oh my God, those seagulls are insane. Oh, my new little outfit, how cute. Okay, I think we'll have to do the dialogue for uh, day two. Um, we're so cute. Punctual as clockwork. Hello, Gref. I have a new appreciation for Gref. I don't hate you, but I don't like you either. Anyways. <laughs> We're punctual and dressed to the nines. Never mind, I take it back. I do not have a new appreciation for Gref. That's weird. Why are you calling her a good girl? That's weird, Gref. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with the energy created at the studio. Gref is now, Gref is back on my list. Gref is back on my list and he's chilling on the list with Oligari. Well, well, here, take your new delivery card. Okay, yeah, work day one for real this time. Our hat is so big, I love it. It's a big goofy looking hat. I love it so much. Now that you have the honor of being a real full-time employee of Amazing Deliveries, you'll earn four coins for every green stamp. Four co No shot. That's so much better. Bruh, eight coins is in the bag. <laughs> really? That means a raise? Or were you paying me almost nothing before? Or, huh? <laughs> this is an opportunity. That's what it is and a good one. I care about you. No, he was underpaying us. My employees are like my family. And so I reward effort and commitment. Now to business. We are behind again. Yeah, cause I'm your only courier. Everyone else quit. Take a look at the delivery card. There are three initial deliveries already booked and then there'll be two more after processing. So we get five packages at once. Yeah, we're not gonna do it today, uh, but we probably will come back eventually. Maybe the next time there's like an early access update, we'll come back. Kind of like how I, I was doing that with Hades too for a minute, but I kind of got sidetracked. Um, but maybe we'll come back at a later date when there's another update to early access. So we can see the updates as well as get some more work done. We have five packages at once, yeah. I told you today was the real deal, didn't I? But no, just these three for now. Come back in a while and I'll have the others ready. Okay. Well, your first package is right that here. Take it. It's for someone who lives in a tent near the windy meadows. I'm not gonna remember this. Kiala is the name. She has ordered a camping lantern. Can you take care of it as soon as possible? No, canonically maybe, but realistically, no, because we're not gonna do that today. <laughs> Alrighty, boss. Four strikes on the camping lantern, but it cannot get banged up. So, oh, a kite, what's that? Why are we looking at the kite? Oh, do we gotta go get that for somebody? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get up there. What was that? A kite? Looks like some kids lost it in the windy winds. I mean, yeah, wind is windy. Water is wet. <laughs> is this the same, is this the same uh, debate? Maybe I could return it to its owner. Well, do whatever you want, as long as you do your work first. Okay, I'll do that boss. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Listen to me very carefully. I won't pay for packages that weren't ordered in the office. You probably get like an extra little gift or achievement for that, but I'm not gonna do it, at least not today. <laughs> Noted. So in that case, I guess I'll have to make my own personal delivery card. Oh, okay, so we have a side quest card. Yep, lost packages. It is the side quest card. Yeah, yeah. Seems the professional thing to do, and... Hey, the delivery card is a patent pending tool for amazing deliveries employees only. Graf, <laughs> he's so goofy. I kind of, I, I still don't like him. So we got a new broom, the Zephyrus Flight. Okay, this one can gain speed as well as use the vertical air currents to gain height. So those were air currents that'll let us get higher up in the air. They just, they didn't, didn't work before. Oh, we can use the horizontal air currents to gain speed as well. Cause so we saw those on the beach and cause we just couldn't use them before. Okay. The basic broom also allows you to carry two packages at the same time. Yes. Alrighty. That's going to be it for today though. I'm going to finish with my buddy Gref. Uh, this is the best I can do. Hi Gref. W Soot told me not to pay for the courier trial. Yeah. He's manipulating me somehow. I'm not really sure yet, but there's something. Anyways, that's it for this video. <laughs> we got through act one, short, sweet, to the point, under an hour. Quick little game, probably at the end of things, but there is also side quests and other things you can do to kind of balance it out. I think it's really cute. I would love to play more. Like I said, 
maybe the next early access update will come back and do act two and we can kind of see what's what's new what changes have been made all that jazz but yeah it's cute so far i really like it i'm excited to get into more of into the nitty gritty of it because there was literally i remember in the gamescom trailer there were some really pretty scenes that i'm excited to see later on but like I said, that is it for this video. Once again, thank you to Too Big and Key Miller for providing me with my copy of the game. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell. I accidentally hit my controller and moved a little bit. Yeah, guys, subscribe, comment, notification bell, all that jazz. And as always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.